What's up everyone, back for another beer review. And this is actually the second Black Friday review that I am posting today. And the beer once again comes from the Fifth Frame Brewing Company and they're out of Rochester, New York. And this is their PSL, also known as Pumpkin Spice Latte, and this is the 2019 release. So this is an American brown ale that is brewed with Fifth Frame's own roasted coffee and pumpkin spices, comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, no IBUs less than the time of review. This can is approximately seven weeks old. So at the end of October, I did my second annual uh, 10 Days of Pumpkin, and uh, at the end of uh, the last review, I said I might review other pumpkin beers before the end of the year, and here we are. Now, I wanted to review this during the 10 Days of Pumpkin, but I was unable to pick it up, and then I grabbed it after that, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to review it. I'm not going to save it for next year or review this next year. I'm going to do it now because I want to. I've heard a lot of good things about this beer, and uh, I don't know if this is actually brewed with pumpkin or not. Um, you can't really you know find a lot of information from uh, fifth frame beers it just says pumpkin spice latte on the can and i do know they are using their own roasted coffee because in addition to being a brewery fifth frame is also a coffee roaster and uh yeah they're using their own roasted coffee they're using they say festive spices so pumpkin spices but i didn't see anything about pumpkin whatever uh, a lot of people like i said really enjoying this one so i was like you know what i gotta give it a go and i don't talk too much about labels on my channel but i really enjoy this label you know Show it off here in a second. But yeah, that's looking like a brown ale for sure. No doubt. Doesn't look like there's a ton of carbonation. Um, yeah, look at that label. It's awesome. Just all the pumpkins, all the gourds, all different colored. It's just simple, but if that doesn't say, you know, basically Halloween or fall to you, then I don't know. That it's, it definitely speaks to me. Anyway, uh, pours out in the glass more of a black looking color. I was pouring it, definitely looked like American brown. It had a darker brown color to it. Has it at the edges here. So, uh, yeah, it, it definitely looks more like a brown ale when I was pouring it as opposed to in the glass. Had about a half finger of this light tan head that is now dissipated to a thin film. But I'd say it, it looks like, honestly, a lighter porter. American porter, that's what it looks like. Let's get a nose. Ah, that's nice. So, one thing I've really come to enjoy over the past four or five years when it comes to pumpkin beers is pumpkin beers that introduce coffee. Uh, Elysian's um, Pumpkachino, awesome. Uh, Resurgence here does a vanilla cappuccino pumpkin ale that I really enjoy. And then Southern Tier does their cold pressed coffee pumpkin. All those beers I, I love, honestly, yeah, pretty much love, like to love. And um, yeah, I just, something about coffee in a pumpkin ale just works for me. And this is doing much of the same based on the nose. Yeah, tons of pumpkin spice. I'm getting actually a little bit of ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. But then their coffee is mixing in with it too. Now it's seven weeks old, so not super fresh, but the coffee's still there. Getting caramel and, and toffee, like your brown ale characteristics, a little bit of like a darker chocolate as well. Slight earthiness. Could be coming from pumpkin if they're using it in here, or just the, the base brown ale, you know, the hop component to it. Man, it smells really good. I want to get into it. Cheers, everyone. That's fucking delicious. Wow. Wow. That's really good. Goddamn. Wow. Now I'm really upset that I didn't review this during the 10 Days of Pumpkin. Maybe I'll review this next year again, the 2020 release. I, 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 I very rarely revisit or review stuff, so I don't care. I'm drinking this. Body on this one is 6.5%. It's like lower side to medium to medium body, which is cool. The mouth feels really nice. Soft, smooth. Not really creamy, but a nice soft smoothness, but there is carbonation. When I poured it, I was like, oh, it might be a little bit undercarbed. It's fine. The taste, though. It's just, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. Those pumpkin spices are so nice. Right up front, hit with a nice sweetness on the tip of the tongue, and it carries on through. Has a really nice like malt sweetness to it, maybe even like a vanilla kind of um, thing, like you like a like a lactose. I don't think they're using lactose in here, but kind of like a lactose. And I'm hit with that sweetness. There's a darker, sweeter, darker chocolate. And as it passes through, the coffee comes in uh, mid palate, and the spices they hit at the same time. And it's just it's so cohesive right at the mid uh, mid palate that it's just awesome. It's just like. I'm getting cinnamon and ginger, nutmeg, allspice, but then the coffee's there. It's a nice roasted coffee. A little bit of like a tinge of like a, a dark berry, maybe coming from the coffee, maybe coming from the base beer. 
carries on through a little bit of caramel and toffee, but the brown ale base gets kind of lost in the taste, which I'm okay with because it's such a delicious beer. I am, I listen, I, a lot of people said that this is a very tasty beer and I can see why, because it, it is. It finishes sweeter, slightly dry finish to it, slightly acidic from the coffee, but more leaning towards the sweeter side. This is more of like a dessert kind of, I'd say pumpkin beer, but it doesn't get to the point where it's too uh, cloying or anything. This, this has dessert vibes to it, but it isn't actually a dessert beer. I could drink a can of this, maybe even a couple cans of it, be fine. Um, Six point five percent. Really can't tell you this. This does not have you know a lot of alcohol in it. Drinks relatively easy. Yeah, it's just it's so nice. It's such a such a nice, easy drinking beer with great flavors. Yeah, definitely up there with of this year one of the best pumpkin beers I had, and in the running for one of the best coffee pumpkin beers I've had. Really good. Really good. How many times can I say really good? One more time. Really good. Delicious. If you like pumpkin beers and you like pumpkin beers with coffee in them and you're in the Western New York area, you owe it to yourself to get your hands on this one. If it's still kicking around in the Western New York area, grab this one. If not, definitely get your hands on it next year because it's so good. Uh, yeah, it's just, I, there's not much more to say about it. delicious beer. So uh, PSL, also known as Pumpkin Spice Latte, the 2019 release from the Fifth Frame Brewing Company. I'm going to give that a straight 4.5 out of 5. Absolutely delicious beer. One of the best pumpkin beers I had this year. And this could be the last pumpkin beer I review this year. We'll see. But if it is, I went out with a bang because this is delicious. So, man, can't get over it. Anyway, price and availability, $4.50 a can at... Uh, excuse me, brewed in a bottled in Lewiston, New York. They've been getting their hands on uh, fifth frame stuff over the last couple months. And I grabbed that, <clears throat> this one there. I think these were $18 a four pack at the brewery. So Chris, the owner of Brewed and Bottled, did not upcharge for this one, which is fantastic because he's an awesome dude. Great bottle shop. If you're ever in Lewiston, New York, stop at Brewed and Bottled. In fact, if you're ever in the Western New York area, if you're in Buffalo, make the trek up to Brewed and Bottled. It's such a such a nice it's it's on center street which is the main street in um lewiston and there's so much stuff to do there but brewed and bottled if you like beer it's fantastic then basically next door is the brickyard brewing company they make some good beer have some good food so uh if you're in buffalo check out brewed and bottled I, it's fantastic location fantastic beer uh beer shop and fantastic um uh, owner and chris so anyway i'll, I'll stop talking about brewed and bottled but yeah 450 can well worth it for a beer this good availability Basically, Western New York, we're seeing them in Buffalo now. They get out and around Rochester. You can pick them up the brewery too. But yeah, such a damn good beer. I'm really digging it, and I'm glad that I got my hands on it, and I did review it because I would have been bummed out if I didn't review this one this year, and I just drank it off camera because it's that damn good. Anyway, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another a beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Hopefully, your Black Friday went well. Hopefully, your Thanksgiving was just as good, and you had a great holiday week, holiday weekend if you're in the U.S., and uh, talk to you guys later. Cheers.